Hello everybody, it's me Salita Sims. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing something a little different and I'm going to be reviewing the Sims Tree website. It is a new service that allows you to build a family tree for your Sims. And I would love to thank the Sims Tree for gifting me a premium version of the service so I can use it and review it and share it with you guys. This might seem a little familiar to y'all if you knew about the service called the Plum Tree. It was another website where you could build a really big family tree for your Sims, but unfortunately last year it was shut down because they couldn't keep up with the costs. It was devastating because I had a family tree on there that I was working on for the Volkovs because you guys have asked me for so long to make a Volkov family tree for me to share and for you guys to look at. So I was devastated when it was shut down but luckily we have the Sims tree. So today I'm just going to be going over all the features and I'm going to be building a family tree from scratch for the Volkov family. So when we get to the home page of the Sims tree you can see a little example of a tree down here. The Sims tree save your history, create unique family stories track the development of your characters and pass on your unforgettable moments from generation to generation start building your own world with us and leave a mark in history and it gives you the option to start a dynasty which is a family tree scroll down a bit and it tells you what tools are available with their service we are constantly working on the service and adding new tools and features dynasties create unique dynastic trees for your family stories track the development of your characters and preserve their legacy in fascinating sagas customization bring your ideas to life with a variety of customization tools for trees choose colors, fonts, and backgrounds to make your story unique. Photo editor. Choose your own style and atmosphere with the photo editor. Edit the photos of your characters and trees to highlight their character and mood. Gallery. Store photos of your characters and their adventures in the gallery. Create memories and share them with other users. Import. Import a tree to save your family history. If you already have a family tree from another source, you can easily transfer it to our site. Interesting. Community. Publish your dynasties in the gallery and share them with the community. Let others see your creative work and get inspiration from the stories from other participants. And then we have an example of a dynasty down here. It's the Williams dynasty. Get to know our interactive dynasty. We have saved this story for you so that you can be inspired and create your own. And we can kind of move around and play with it. You just have to press shift in order to move around. It looks like we have Samuel Williams, who was briefly married to Brenda Gerber, and I believe his current wife, Cora Williams. And once you click on the sim, you can see all the information about them. So we have Cora Williams, alive, information, gender, female, type, human, character, traits, adventurous, active, materialistic, life goals, neighborhood confidant. Cora always dreamed of a quiet life and it was important for her to find this peace in life. She spent her youth as a hippie trying to live according to her chosen ideology. However, living in the community was difficult. Therefore, having met a person just like her, Cora found the peace that she had been looking for for a long time. It looks like they had two daughters and you can even put pets in there. Oh my god, hi Max! And so on and so on. It comes with a light mode and a dark mode and it looks like this website is adapted for mobile phones. So here is everything each version of the Sims tree has to offer. You have free access, which means you can create a full-fledged tree, no restrictions on characters and generations, choose one of the offered backgrounds, ability to share the tree, and an avatar editor. And if you want to expand your capabilities for an extra $3 a month, you can create an unlimited number of trees, ability to import a tree, customization of custom fields in the character card, uploading your own background for the tree, using a photo editor, and any other additional features for the creative process, photo gallery for each character and tree, and much more as functionality is constantly being expanded. All right, with that, I think it's time that we start our dynasty. Okay, so here is the My Dynasty page. We're left with a blank slate and we're ready to do whatever we want to do. So I guess we'll just start off with adding Alexis. So how would I do that? Okay, we have to go over here first and add a sim. That makes more sense. Okay, so I put Alexis's full name, Alexis Dion, because Dion's her middle name, Keter Volkov. That's just how I like to do it. You don't have to do all that and be extra, but that's just me. We're gonna go to gender. Her gender was female. Condition, she is dead. She's in her dust era. Uh, kind, she was a person. Type, we're gonna type in werewolf. And then we have her traits. Oh god, I'm trying to remember. It was party, animal, cool, hot, school, Squeamish, evil, and then at the last minute she became family oriented and a perfectionist. Her life goals was to find a soulmate, I think, so it was the one aspiration. And there's any additional fields for anything else you want to add. I don't think there's anything else you want to add at the moment. Then you can add a picture of her. This is just a picture of her from cast. We can add filters, fine tune, annotations, decorate, stickers, frames, redact, and resize. Okay, interesting. What filters do we have here? Okay. These are cute. These are good if, you know, you don't have G-shade or anything. Should I make it black and white? Because she's dead. <laughs> 
Oh wow, they have a lot of filters actually. I think I'm gonna add mono, black and white, because she's gone. And then we have all these fine tuning options. Make it brighter or make it darker. I think I'm just gonna leave every setting at zero. Annotation, so I can just kind of scribble on her. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> How useful is that? What a cool little feature. This is just definitely something i would totally use we have an eraser a path lines arrows rectangles eclipse and text wow a lot of features then we have stickers that's cool so they're just like emojis basically okay it looks like it's just those four emojis that you're given but you can also add other images you can add frames oh i like that that is cute so one looks like you're taking a picture oh i kind of like this one i'm gonna actually try that one on and see what it looks like then we have redact which blurs it. I like that. That's cool. That's actually really useful if I have a new sim that's becoming a part of the family and I don't want y'all to see exactly what they look like yet. And resizing. And now we'll press done. And would you look at that? She's done. You can add a description as well, but I don't want to make this video too long, so I'm not going to do that right now. But by the time I let you guys see this family tree, there will be descriptions up for every sim, or at least the immediate ones. Okay, so now we have Alexis added. She's dead. <laughs> and we have all of her traits and her life goals. So going back to the dynasty, I guess now we can turn this back on at the top and then we could set this to Alexis. Yes! Okay, great! And now we can go on and proceed with adding everybody else to the Volkov family tree. Okay, so let's go ahead and add everybody else in the immediate family. So let's go ahead and add Chris. I'm not gonna change the filter of his photo, I'm just gonna crop it a bit and add the same frame as I did with Alexis. Okay, so I added Chris. Christopher Volkov, male, alive, person, werewolf. His traits are genius, perfectionist, family-oriented, and I believe, I don't know if this is actually his life goal in my save file i just know this is the one he's given with the pack because he is a pre-made townie it's successful lineage i don't know if that's right though but for now it's fine and there he is i'm gonna go in order from you know the oldest child to the youngest child so next up is going to be ezra same thing i'm gonna do i'm gonna crop it and just make it look good hello my baby okay we have his traits over here it's smart music lover loyal linguist and adventurous and his aspiration is nerd brain. Okay. Okay, I've added all that in and now we can save him as well. Up next, our matriarch, Autumn. And I'm gonna use her full name as well, which is Autumn Priscilla Volkov Kiloha. And her traits, God, uh, one of her traits just recently changed actually. She had a self discovery and her trait is no longer clumsy. It's actually, I think, perfectionist. Yep, perfectionist. Okay. So her traits are child of the nature, perfectionist, kleptomaniac, loner, and gentle. And her life goal is to be an outdoor enthusiast. Next up is Nicole, and so on and so on. Okay, I've created all of the immediate family members of the Volkov family, so the original eight, Alexis, Chris, and their six kids. So now what I'm going to do is I can go back to my dynasty and I can go ahead and add them in next to Alexis. So turning this on, if you press the heart, you can add her partner, which is going to be Christopher, spouse, but at the same time, widow, the widower. So, okay, there we go. <laughs> that makes more sense. And now if I click this one down here, we can add their children. So first we are going to add Ezra. Then I'm going to add Clint because he is adopted. So he's part of the family tree, you know, in theory, I guess, if obviously he's not blood. Okay, there we go. That's the immediate Volkov family. Now I can go on and add all of their family members. And then we also have Jacob Volkov and Rory Okla, which are Chris's kids, not Alexis's. So back to my Sims, and I'm going to add now every single Volkov family member I can think of, and I'll get back to you guys when I'm done. All right, so it's been about a half hour later, and I'm completely done with the family tree. Unfortunately, I cannot add anything that has to do with Christopher's side of the family, like Maria, his mother, or his ex-wife, I forget what her name is, but I can't add that. And I can't add anything about the Volkov kids' spouses, which I kind of find disappointing. I was hoping I could add like Shanna's siblings or Mason's siblings, but I can't do that. That's fine, I don't need it, but everything else is 
is pretty good. I did add Rory and Jacob to both Alexis's and Chris's tree because I can't just make a tree for Chris that he has kids that he adopted. So I just added them in, which again is fine. Technically, Alexis was both of their stepmothers. And what I found out is you can add a line solely for the air. I love that. You just have to go up here to the settings and make sure you have air's line checked. And I also checked the show alive or dead status of a person, even though I am going to make them black and white like Jacob and uh, Alexis. But that's a cool little feature you can add. See, it says alive, dead, alive, alive, alive. Yes, I promise everyone else is alive. <laughs> I'm not lying to y'all. So yeah, I added all the kids along with their partners, along with any of the kids that they might have. If there's anyone I'm forgetting, please let me know. I don't think I am forgetting anybody. I even added Zayden as her boyfriend, which... <laughs> who knows if that's if that's gonna stick and i even added slots for the unknown kialoha child and the unknown volkov child oh no why does it only say tanaka i meant to put volkov too hillary tanaka volkov and you know what i found out about both mason and hillary let me just let me just show you hillary has a psychopathic tendencies aspiration hills Oh my god, and her traits are even worse. She has the good trait and the proper trait, which is great, but she also has the cold-blooded trait, the unpredictable trait, and the high-strung trait. I can understand high-strung because you got knocked up as a teenager by an orange man, but cold-blooded? I guess Edward likes his women a little crazy. Okay. At the end of the day, they're still cute or whatever. And then when I found out about Mason, he too has a psychopathic tendencies aspiration. What is up with y'all? When it comes to Hillary, I don't believe that. I think she's so sweet that she can't be so, so evil. But you know, that's probably how she's fooling me. But Mason, I could, I could kind of see that. He also has the smug trait, which just fits him so perfectly. <laughs> but anyways, that is the Volkov slash Kiloha slash future Meshram family tree. Also, look Look at how Nina is just serving, serving face in this picture. Okay, girly, I am so glad you look like your mother and not like that orange f we call your father. There are more customization options up here when it comes to colors and showing first and last name, showing pets, but I don't really mind the color that's given. I mean, I could try maybe this one, this like beige one. I think for now, I'll just stick with this beige one. The tree is not completely done because I still want to add some of their reward traits as well as descriptions and anything else I can find about them that's interesting. So you guys fully know everything there is to know about the Volkov family, but this is going to take a minute. <laughs> this is going to take a minute because look at how many of them there are. I will try keeping this updated as much as I possibly can and we'll be adding the next children into these blank slots whenever they're born in the episodes. And that's it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching and thank you again to The Sims Tree for gifting me the premium version of the service. I am loving it so far. I will be leaving a link to the service below. I really do miss the plum tree and I know a lot of you guys too. So hopefully you guys will find this as a good alternative. Check out both versions, both free and premium. They both have a lot to offer. And the Volkov family's family tree will always be available in my link tree. Make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!